if you are following me at Rick's underscore Old Time Garage on Instagram and on my Facebook at Old Time Garage, you will see I posted a whole bunch of stuff because Jared was painting flames last night on the 41 Custom. That's right, so let's take a first hand look at it right now. And there she is. We replicated these flames in the color the best we could to what her husband had done on the car. Now keep in mind, before you comment or write anything, Mary's husband passed away and one of the things that she remembers the most about this car was <clears throat> at the very, it, it, like when he had it, he brought it home one day and decided he was gonna tape out some flames and paint them on with just a spray bomb. So when she brought the car to us, she said, the one thing that my husband did that I'll never forget is he flamed in front of this car himself in our driveway and I don't wanna lose that. So we did, I told her, I said, we can get it 75 to 80% correct. We're never gonna get it 100% correct because it's rattle can paint, you know, and, and when you sand the car and prep the car, we're gonna lose the flames. But as you can see in the background, we've got pictures taped all over the place on this side, on this side. And uh, you know, it turned out pretty damn good. I think she's gonna be amazed when she sees it. Now the car is going satin black. Now this car originally was built by Harvey Funk and if you look it up past in the day it was in Hot Rod magazines in 1954, 5, 6, it was in magazines right up to like in the 2000s. This car is a total history car. It originally was like a gold with all these scallops on it. But of course over the years it changed but the main thing is the car itself has survived. It is here still to this day. So I'm going to uh, get in here with Sean. We're going to start unmasking these flames and then we'll give you another shot of what they look like. Oh, but if you're out there, if you're out there, Mary, I know you're going to love this. I know you're going to love it. Your husband is so proud of what you've done here. I promise you. I promise you. He's so happy right now with this. Okay, we'll continue on in a second. Okay. I got to stop here at that store. Okay. Okay. Okay, I'll see you in a minute. Yep. So there we go guys, it's all pulled back. Now, you might be asking yourself, normally do you not do flames after you paint the vehicle? And normally you would, you can do it two different ways. We did it this way for the fact that the car is going a satin black, not shiny. So she wanted the flame shiny, but the car is going to go satin black, which you will see on Monday. Uh, it's Friday today. I don't know when you guys are watching this video, but it is Friday today. We're going to leave this car sit all weekend here in the booth. On Monday, we're going to come in in the morning, mask off the flames. Monday night, Jared's going to work his magic and spray the satin black down. So we felt it was easier to do it this way for us. Um, just because if you have a screw up when you're painting the color on, if we would have had the car satin black and you have a screw up, how do you fix it? Like it's it's... It's a real tough one, this one, because like I say, the car is going satin black, the, car, the flames are shiny. So if you get something that, say, say you spray the black and then you do the flames after, and say a little bit of overspray lands somewhere on the car, it's not like you can wipe it off because the vehicle is done in satin clear. And you try and, when, these people don't understand this, when you do these flat and satin colors, you try and color match again, good luck with that. So it's way easier for us, we thought, to paint the flames, and let's say, heaven forbid, a little bit of black ended up on the flame, well, we can always wash it off way easier than we can wash the color off the black. But there we go. She's going to sit up in the booth. So look at the flames here. I can see that. See how they go down in there? Look at the picture there. I think we did good. I think we did good. That's the driver's side again. That was just there was where a decal was, a moon eyes decal, which we bought to replace for her. Look it. We got her. We got her, folks. Well, hey, remember? It's always a damn good time at old time, and it's Friday. Hank and I are going to collect money for payday, and then we're going to the beer store. See you later.